So you're struggling as a Ruby developer in 2021. Well, you reach the right video. Let me explain. This video is brought to you by Digilink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure freelance salary you desire. Our courses include our SQL project course, our freelance Kickstarter, our Python course, and our interview programming course, and much, much more. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click the link below to get to our free seven step freelance guide so that we can help take your career to the next level. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, Ruby developers, don't, don't, please wait, 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 before you start hammering and going to the comment section, I want to really embrace the Ruby developers today. And even before you guys start bashing, hold on, give me an opportunity to really start to make my case here. And I think everybody's going to be happy with this video because I've been known in the past to say, don't use Ruby it's a dying language, leave it alone, which, you know, in certain cases, that's the truth. But I want to make sure I put things in perspective so that everybody can know where I am. And there's still value in Ruby. There's a lot of legacy code out there still written in Ruby. You got place, I think Shopify or something like that is still written in Ruby to this day. So there's people still pushing the Ruby code out there and it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. But I want to make sure if you're struggling as a Ruby developer, we give you a course of action that's going to help you maintain your Ruby skills, but also position you in the future as well. And guys, don't bash the Ruby developer, at least not yet. Wait to the you know, five minute mark. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do that here. So at the end of the day, guys, let's talk about the problem. Problem with Ruby developers. Guys, as a programming language compared to other options on the market, there's better options, but we're talking about if you're a brand new developer starting the day with no experience, you're trying to learn how to code and you're wanting to pick a language, do not pick Ruby because unless you have a job, somebody offering you a job and you've been struggling to find work anywhere else and you've been doing this for months, even years, and you finally found an opportunity and they like, you got to learn Ruby, learn Ruby. But if it's not that, you don't have any job prospect, you're just picking just to learn, stick with the PHP, stick with the Python, stick with JavaScript, and then expand from there to the Java's, the C Sharps, the C, C++, all in that area, you guys. That's the roadmap I, how I, I suggest most developers in 2021. That being said, for Ruby, if you already have Ruby skills, You've been in the game for Ruby for a while. You had it work, you know the frameworks, you know Rails, all that stuff, and you just really want to continue to leverage those skills. Then there's opportunities for you guys. Just go Indeed, Google, search. A lot of legacy companies still use Rails as a framework, and they also um, use Ruby also for a lot of web development and scripting and all that good stuff, guys but it's all about expectations. It's all about the struggle. Guys, you gotta understand when, you know, you gotta understand when it's time to uh, get off the horse. <laughs> you done rode that wave so long, it's time to move on, but you don't have to move on all at once. And that's the key of this video. You don't have to move on all at once as a Ruby developer. You can still develop in Ruby but acquiring another skill set as well in a different programming language. The good news is as long as you know the fundamentals of programming, loops, arrays, variables, just know how to write code, when to put semicolons, when to use commas, the syntax from one programming language to another is not that bad. The fundamentals are gonna be the same. You just gotta learn the syntax. So if you're a Ruby developer, switching to Python shouldn't be that hard. It should be relatively easy because you already know the fundamentals, you know a syntax of a programming language, you just gotta do the translation there. You know, I can understand if you're moving more towards a Java or C sharp because that was a lot um, higher, you're moving from a high, <laughs> high level language to more of a lower language and it's a lot more code to write. But even then guys, it's still the same. You, un you understand the fundamentals, you just gotta uh, just really, um, understand the syntax of a language. And that's why I want you got your Ruby developers to take from this video, because at the end of the day, if you're a Ruby developer, you're struggling. First of all, comment below. Tell me personally, why are you struggling as a Ruby developer? 
put that in the comments for me so that we can have a conversation and I can help you really with a roadmap three, five years from now so that you can position your career even with your current skill to advance your career, to make more money, live the lifestyle you wanna live and then put you in a position to win, guys. There's ways, there's a lot of uh, demand for software developers. Yeah, they're not just hiring anybody, any blow, Joe Blow like who know HTML like they used to do in the uh, mid 90s, early 2000s. But at the end of the day, if you're experienced, you know what you're talking about, you know how to navigate um, frameworks, um, uh, software stacks, and don't screw things up, you're gonna be able to get a job on the market, guys. I wanna help you guys out with that. And um, again, comment below so that you can get your opportunity as well. Also below, if you haven't checked out my seven step guide, go ahead and check that out. And uh, it's free. And then after you take the seven step guide, you can also um, purchase some premium courses to really escalate your development career so that you can get that job you want and uh, really put yourself in a position to learn those projects, guys. And a um, lot of good stuff. But again, not, let's let's not bash the Ruby developers. I know I know there's people who's going to die on that Ruby ship. And I'm not going to even I'm not going to even say that's bad. As long as you die on the ship as your career, as you're retiring, like you're saying you're going to be retiring in four to five years or even 10 years from now. And you just want to ride that ship down. You're not willing to change. You just that's what you're going to program. That's what you're going to write. And that's what you're going to do Ride that way. But if you're just starting out, guys, don't don't plant your flag somewhere that you know is not going to be there in the long run and again it's all about perspective it's all about your opportunity there may be a city out there that i'm not aware of that is only ruby developers only ruby jobs and it's gonna be thrive it's thriving and i'm not aware of if you know about that comment below but i'm not aware of that but at the end of the day you guys can succeed in whatever programming language, as long as you know the specific use case of that particular programming language and you are flexible enough to be able to learn more programming language, understand the syntax, take those fundamentals you learned from Ruby and really translate that to a, another software stack. Because if you know the business, you know um, how to solve industry problems, regardless of the programming language, it's gonna end up being the same end result regardless. And that continuous improvement is just gonna really take your career to the next level. So if you haven't already, guys, go ahead, tell me your issues you've been having, you've been struggling with Ruby below so that we can start a conversation. Like, subscribe to the content. If you haven't already, go ahead and pick up that seven step guide, Ruby developers, you can uh, get it too, so that you can take your freelance career to the next level. I'm gonna put a link up here on the screen as well and go check out those premium courses, guys. And um, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.